A chilly blast greeted the All Blacks as they set about serious preparation for the Scotland Test. Early indications are debutant Dane Coles will have a role, possibly off the bench. 16 or 2 will do. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, I just if I get the opportunity, I'm gonna, I want to give it a good go. Also likely to feature Sam Kane, not a new boy, but still learning the ropes. You check the day sheet about every half an hour to make sure you're not late for anything. And uh, you also check the uniform sheet to make sure you don't want to be the guy wearing the wrong, the wrong gear. Across town, Scotland named their team, knowing any chance of an historic victory will depend on a good start. I think that the key thing for us is thinking about the start. You know, we've got to think about you know, what we're going to do and how we're going to uh, play the game and have the accuracy in the way that we play uh, in attack and defence. If we can do that and we can uh, uh, put New Zealand under a little bit of pressure early on, then you get a foothold in the game. And, and that's the key to winning any of these battles. Scotland will be missing arguably their best player, Lions prop Ewan Murray, who won't play on Sundays for religious reasons. While there's also a question mark over giant second rower Richie Gray, denting hopes of ending a 107-year drought against the All Blacks. Tony Johnson, CGW News, Edinburgh.